What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder, Malik Scott, the family of Wilder, and let's get to it. Listen, we all know about the uh, the allegations, the restraining order from Telly Swift and all that. We know that Malik Scott has been lobbied to be sacked by from the instruction of Papa Wilder, OK, and he stated that Malik Scott has to go. He's turned him into a fighter that he don't supposed to be. Did lie joke. Damn if I know. OK, we know this. However, when the news broke yesterday that sh that really shook the Internet, you know, um, I got a unanimous call. OK, from an unknown source that claimed that they OK, not he or she, but they um, have knowledge of the household and how things were ran and deep-rooted problems within the Wilder family, which a lot of this I won't go into, but this is what I will, okay? Um, Wilder's father did an interview stating that he wanted Malik Scott sacked, right? Now we know this. And... According to my source, the source was like, hey, um, why would he want De Deontay Wilder to fire Malik Scott when, in fact, he doesn't even have any dealings with his father? See, Deontay Wilder and his father are not like Tyson Fury and John Fury. We heard John Fury talk about Oh, what Tyson should do and who he should fire like Sugar Hill Stewart and all this. And what look what happened. He got in his corner and he got his ass whooped because he was in his corner. Go figure. Right. Well, Wilder and his father are nothing like that at all. In fact, people, in fact, the source informed me that when Wilder started boxing, he didn't even care for Wilder to box. He told Wilder, what are you doing that for? Why don't you go, go pick up a basketball or pick up a damn football and try that again and again until you do succeed. Not this boxing crap. That's what he told him. And since then, a division has pretty much divided between him and his father because his father discouraged him to fight in the first place. So the whole thing is, why would Mr. or Papa Wilder want Malik Scott sacked when he, first of all, don't know anything about boxing. Second of all, didn't support Deontay Wilder when he was boxing. Third of all, why should he worry about anything that Deontay Wilder does when he's not even in his life, really? It's so many things that I was that was revealed to me about the whole situation, about Wilder, about his father, and how his father is just trying to uh, get clout from... You know, Wilder, because Wilder, you know, of course, is in the news, is in the paper, and he may be out of the picture pretty soon if he doesn't get a win under his belt or if he decides to fight again. On top of the other stuff with Telly Swift. Now, there was a lot of things that was mentioned with that, which I won't go into because that's a different, totally different video. However, with this is revealed, okay, this is revealed, um, I think that Wilder should make his own decision. I think that Wilder shouldn't listen to outside influences, um, but it is common knowledge to understand how a person, especially your parents, can have an effect on you overall. I look at it like this. If Deontay Wilder's father told him that, and I don't see why the source would lie to me, I think if anything, if anything at all, Wilder's father actually motivated him to do something that his father said not to do. Because if most families and most fathers and sons and mothers and daughters, they have a, a sense of rebellion naturally because they're ever growing and they're growing into their own self. So this form of um, rebellion will be created, will be formed just by the desire to grow up and be your own person. And I think when Deontay Wilder's father, yeah, we're getting deep, said that, hey, you know what? What you doing that for? What you doing that for? You don't, you don't need to be doing that. 
Why you can get your head bashed in? What? What are you trying to do? And that created a spark in Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder was like, you know what? I don't care what you say. I'm going to do it. You know, you haven't been really for me, you know, for the longest anyway. So I'm going to prove you wrong. So I think him proving him wrong was a way for him to motivate himself in a way that catapulted him to where he's at today. Bars. That's what I think that happened. So when I heard that, I'm thinking, well, hey, actually, inadvertently, that's father never really supported him. But I think that's the point. OK, I think that a lot of people that don't really support you, you know, actually end up supporting you by your desire to show people that you can do things versus people that said you can't. I had an uncle like that. He said I couldn't be an actor. He said I couldn't be a stuntman. What are you in the film industry for? You can't make that. You can't do that. But what did that make me do? That didn't make me crumble. It made me more motivated to prove everybody, including him, wrong about me. And that's exactly what I wanted to show myself, first of all, and everybody else around me, that I can do something that I love to do. And now I'm doing this too. Bars. That's what the thing is. Okay. Um, I want to reiterate this passage. Okay. And this correlates with what I'm saying. It goes like this. Okay. It says, hard times create strong men, okay? Strong men create good times, right? Good times creates weak men. Weak men create hard times. <laughs> so in this, in, this, in this passage, who do you think Deontay Wilder is? Deontay Wilder has to fit the strong men create good times, okay? Because hard times created him strong, so this strong man created good times. And Deontay Wilder, with the money that he made and the people that he knocked out with that right-hand Alabama sledgehammer, okay, made good times for a lot of people around him. But you guys tell me what you think about this breaking news, this strong source that I've been blessed to receive and hear from, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!